Okay, so if you've already read the title, you'd know I bought a bike on Craigslist. So without further ado, here it is. A 78 Twin Star, also known I think internationally as the CM185T. The CM stands for Custom Motorcycle, according to Honda and the internets. But I really can't figure out what's so custom about it. Oh, bonus, the seller also threw in this awesome red helmet and a shop manual as well. That's pretty cool. So you're probably asking yourself, why would I buy a bike like this? And the answer is, it's for my wife. She's been interested in riding a motorcycle for some time now, and I said, since you're a learner, let's find you something that's small, forgiving, and easy to learn on. And this bike fit the bill pretty well. So I believe Honda ran the Twin Star from the late 70s all the way till the early 2000s. This 185cc example produces a whopping 10 horsepower. It's an air-cooled engine with a kickstart, four speeds, and a single carburetor. Doesn't get much simpler than that. Just what I wanted. So while the Twin Star doesn't have the looks of the CB or the speed, it is a great example of a simple, reliable starter bike that will help break someone in and learn to ride a motorcycle safely and also working on one. With things like simple front and rear drum brakes and a 6 volt kickstart system, you really can't go wrong. So with any Craigslist purchase, there are a few pros and cons, and this bike is no exception. Starting with the cons, the battery is completely dead, and the owner hasn't started the bike in roughly four years. So I'm not sure how it's going to start, but on the pro side, it's fairly low miles. It's got about 2,900 or so miles, and he did drain the gas out of it. And after checking the dipstick, the oil doesn't look too bad. Although I'm going to go ahead and give it a good once over in a coming video, drain the oil, refill it, do the spark plugs, and then put a new battery in it and see if I can't get it started. I may also pull the carb just to take a look and see how the carb's doing too. So now that we see that it's in fairly good condition, the next step is going to be to give it a good once over and get it roadworthy. I'm not sure how far I want to go yet in terms of modifying it or making it cool. Maybe I'll leave that up to my wife. But thanks again for watching and I hope uh, to see you next time. See ya.